Welcome back to the channel, it's Arrow with Passion to Profit. And before we get into this video, if you haven't already, make sure you go back and check out the first stock market crash course number one video. And that one we just go over which broker you should choose, what a broker even is, and a cash account versus margin account. I show how to put in your indicators and the support and resistance. So if you haven't already, make sure you go back to that video, watch that one first, and then come back to this one. I like to make these videos step-by-step, -step, very beginner, so that the beginner can really understand and build a firm foundation. So if you have one, grab a notebook, take some notes, write down some vocabulary words that you hear me say that you may not understand, and then go back, Google them later, watch other YouTubers, watch their videos, try to get value out of anywhere that you can. And if these videos are helping you at all, this stock market crash course series, make sure you leave a like on the video and comment down below any extra questions that you have so that I can include them in the future videos. I'm not gonna take up too much time. This video is really just gonna be dedicated to finding stocks, screening for stocks, and how to set up your own watch list. And you may have seen in the first video, I introduced finviz.com and benzinga.com. Finviz is really good to screen for stocks and then just look at the top percent gainers or losers for the day. And Benzinga is really good for articles and news and things like that. And they even give out free watch lists too. And we're going to start off with Finviz. So for today so far, we have Finviz on the left side. These are the top percent gainers for the day. And over here on the right side, these are our top losers for the day. And this is how the overall markets are doing. So, And then if you want to come up over here to screener, Click that and this is going to be where we're going to scan for stocks and first thing you're going to notice all these drop down menus one thing to take note right away is you're not going to need to fill out every one of these drop down menus personally i only like to do a couple but for the most part i'm just going to do the price if i'm trading penny stocks let's say i say anything under ten dollars which i've seen people say anything under five dollars or whatever but this is the price range that i'm personally going to be looking in and you can do it to whatever you like whatever stocks you trade so if you want it above $20 or $50 you can go ahead and do that you can also narrow it down to the sector over here you can narrow it down to the industry right here and you can even narrow it down to the float size and again if you don't know what the float is the float is gonna be the supply of shares offered to the public another thing that's really common for people to change is usually the relative volume or the average volume I know a lot of people like to mess with those but when I'm building a watch list I don't really care about the volume too much because I know I'm not gonna be trading it unless it's in play that day anyways. So now that I have under $10 in the price drop down menu, it's gonna give me all stocks that are $10 or less. And then you wanna put them into your watch list and we're gonna get into how to build a watch list on Thinkorswim at the end of this video. After you come over here and you type in all the criteria that you want met, it's gonna automatically filter it for you and then all the stocks that are listed is gonna be the stocks that fit your criteria. I hope you see the benefit of using Finviz, how specific you can get for the type of stocks that you wanna see. And now we're gonna move into Benzing Benzinga, you're going to be able to find a lot of the latest news and articles. The main thing that I think is going to help most beginners out is going to be hovering over this markets tab. And if you go to pre-market, this is going to give you a pre-market watch list that I think will be beneficial to a lot of beginners out there that can't find absolutely any stocks to trade or even look at for the day. This one will say 36 stocks moving in Tuesday's pre-market session. So it's going to show you that whichever day you're on. And then if you click that, it's going to bring down a list of stocks that were moving overnight. And what's really nice about Benzinga is when it brings up that list, it also provides the catalyst for why that stock is moving. That's really nice and convenient. You can come back to the site, play around with any of these tabs, click around in news. Probably has so much more that I don't even know about. In this part of the video, I'm going to show you how you can build your own custom watch list on TD Ameritrade Thinkorswim. I'm now going to come over to this tab next to watch list. I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to come down and click create watch list. After I click create watch list, a quick pop-up window is going to come up to ask me what I want to name this watch list. Maybe I want to name this one potential movers. And then down here, I can go ahead and type in any stock I want. Let's just do WKHS since I know that one was kind of hyped up lately. And then we'll go down here and click save. And now I've started to create my own custom watch list. All you want to do is load your watch list up with a bunch of stocks that you see value in for whatever reason and come over here to think or swim, load them up in your custom watch list because you can then sort them by volume. So for example, if I come over here to this watch list, if I click volume, it's already sorted, but by clicking volume, it's gonna change the direction in which they're sorted. And the way I have this watch list set up is in the mornings I can wake up and just see what's on the top of the list of my volume and usually that's going to be the stock that's in play for the day. You know how to create your own watch list. Now we're going to get into how to customize your watch list. 
And what I mean by that is you're going to come over here to this super tiny settings symbol in the top right corner. And after you click that, click customize. So you can see on mine, it has the bid, the ask, the volume, and the percent change. I can add any one of these. For example, if I click percent change and click remove items and then press OK, percent change is going to be moved off of my watch list. And now if I want to go back and add that or add something new, I just go back to the same customize and percent change is already loaded in right here. So I'm just going to click that, press add items and then press OK and then it'll be added right back to my watch list. Now that's gonna do it for this video. In the next video, we're gonna get more into adding in your support and resistance levels on different time frames and how you can use different time frames to trade off of. Right now, the spies is trading in that 317, 314 range. That's gonna be interesting to see which way that's gonna go. If you got any value out of the past two videos, make sure you drop a like on the video. Comment down below any extra questions that you may have and I'll go ahead and answer those. If you need any extra help and want to join our Discord chat, we have a lot of free education in here as well and a lot of free live chat that goes on during the day while the market is open. So if you're interested in this free Discord chat of over 11,000 members, make sure you click that second link in the description. And if you want a free trading journal, make sure you click that first link in the description. And I will catch you guys in the next video.